fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. Today, I want to talk a little bit about our Parameters tab. And we find the Parameters tab uh, right here. I have it kind of defaulted to where it comes in Daz Studio on the right-hand side. And we're probably familiar with it because our Parameters tab is where we select a character or an object, and then we can manipulate it. We can move her around, reposition her, and so on. I'm not going to get into the uh, basic Parameters tab that we all play with today. Uh, what I want to do is talk about some of the special features that you can find when you have the Parameters tab selected and then you go up to this little bar and when you click on this bar you're gonna get a whole menu of some pretty handy things. Now I'm not gonna talk about all of these uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, some are very redundant, and if I went through every one, it would take a lot of time, and I want to keep our tutorials as short as possible. But um, if you look at this, you've got this menu. And so we're going to play around with this menu a little bit under the Parameters tab. Now, it is uh, good to know that if you select something else like Surfaces, and you choose our little uh, wedge here, you're going to get a different menu for the Surface tabs. And uh, we'll talk a little bit perhaps about these in another video, but I want to focus on parameters today. So to help us out, I've got Milica and Milica's sister, uh, Biliana, and they're going to be helping us kind of play around with this parameters little special feature tab. So the first example, let's click on our little special tab and I'm going to select uh, Biliana. And then under the special tab, we're going to go to copy and then I'm going to hit copy figure. And then if I select Milica, I come back and go to paste and then I can go to paste figure pose and what this will do is it will take Biliana's pose and put it on Milica. So you can move poses from one character to another using copy and paste. Alright, so you can see Milica now has the same pose as Biliana. So that's a pretty cool little feature if you need to um, use the same pose over and over again. Instead of searching for it, you can just copy and paste. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is Restore. And with Restore, what's kind of cool about this is you can use it with poses. So for example, with Milica here, let's say I take her arm and I bend it into a position that I don't like and I want it back like it was. So I can undo it, but if I, if I do multiple moves where we can't undo anymore, uh, so let's just say I'm moving her around and you know, the the undo has a certain amount of clicks that it allows and then it hazes out and doesn't allow you to undo it anymore. So if I'm moving her around and I'm like, gosh, I got to start over. I don't like that. I can uh, just select my Milica again, go to restore and then go to just restore figure pose. And what this does is it remembers what the pose was that you started with and it will put her back in the original pose. See that? Pretty neat. 
Okay, now below the restore is zero. And the zero works really well because it's going to just zero out our figure. So we have three choices here with the figure. We have just zero the figure. We have zero the figure pose and then zero the figure shape. So for example, if I hit zero figure, it's gonna completely wipe out our figure, the pose and the character. So you see that she went to her uh, A pose and it got rid of Milica. This is now the Genesis 8 base figure. And so we've gotten rid of everything. So we can do this if we need to start over with a, with a figure, or maybe you have set up a figure and you don't like that character. You can zero her out and uh, add a new character in. Okay, along with the zeroing, we can also zero out just our pose. So if I select zero figure pose, here we have Milica remaining, so our character stays, but she went to her base pose, the A pose. This zero just got rid of the pose itself. And then finally under zero pose, we have zero the uh, figure shape. So what this will do is it will keep our character in the correct pose, but it'll change her back to the Genesis 8 base figure. Okay, so below that zero, we have limits. And limits, if you recall, whenever we have a character that we have selected, you know, we can move that character around. And so, you know, I can move her arm, for example. And the the setting always has a limit remember if we go to the gear and we select that gear and go to parameter settings here we have these limits well you know in some cases we don't want the limits and so you can select each one of your dials and just click on this use limits like that get rid of it hit accept but here in the parameters uh, special tab we can unlock all of our characters' limits all at once. So we have two choices, limits on and limits off. So see, if I select that limits off, if I go to any of our uh, dials and go to parameter settings, now we have that use limits off. This can come in pretty handy depending on what character you're trying to use because, uh, or what prop you're trying to use because they can be rather cumbersome to try and go in and change every limit. All right, another kind of cool feature that this parameters uh, special tab has is move to floor. So if I'm posing, for example, and a lot of times when we pose, our character gets raised or lowered above the floor. Now remember that the floor, if I get rid of the floor of this building, remember the floor is like this grid. And so the, the base of Daz Studio is a grid and we can always make sure that our character is on that floor when we select this parameters tab and it just says move to floor. So I have I have Milica selected and she's above the floor. So all I have to do is go to move to floor and it'll move her back to the floor. And then down below here, we have some other things, uh, edit mode. I'm gonna talk more about edit mode in an upcoming tutorial. Uh, it helps us morph characters and change characters over from one to another. We have to use edit mode, for example, to um, change a Genesis 3 into a Genesis 8, or uh, I'm gonna make a video here soon that we're gonna take Milica, who is a Genesis 8, and turn her into a Genesis 9 character and we'll use this edit mode for that. Um, then it has undock pane, undock pane group. So if we select that, 
it moves this parameters tab and uh, moves it out of tabs and so we can move it around remember you can move things anywhere you want so all right so i hope this little mini lesson helped you with the parameters tab and just for fun let's run a render with our two characters All right, everyone, so we got our render done. Obviously nowhere near perfect, but it's a good start. You know, I hope that this um, helped you because any time that we can learn some nuts and bolts about the program, the better the program becomes. So anything that we can do to help us out is gonna make things go smoother. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much if you've subscribed already. I really appreciate my growing numbers. And don't forget to like and comment. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, have a wonderful day.